Hello everybody and welcome back to From the Finney Plays Football Manager 2020. We're back here with episode 2 today. Um, in episode 1 we had the first 3 games of the pre-season fixture list. So we had our under 18 squad which resulted in a very very boring 1-0 win. Sean Maguire 88th minute. Then an even more boring to the point of near tears. Accrington Stanley draw at home, 0-0. And then a very, very exciting game after that, actually, um, which resulted in seven goals being put past a 10-men Bamber Ridge team. Um, they got one sent off on the 57th minute, and North End tore them a new one, um, getting seven goals. Maguire getting two goals. Stockley getting two goals. Johnson with a penalty. Ledson with a screamer. And Barkhausen with a goal as well. So, in terms of our next lot of pre-season games we've got coming up um, in the build-up to the championship season, we have Manchester United next. So, it's our big game for today. Fleetwood, Chorley, Bournemouth and Falkirk. So, um, it's some good games to look forward to. So, on to episode two of the pre-season set-up. So, hopefully things should run a bit more smoother now. Um, I've just recorded episode one, so this is just a very much a continuation on from episode one. So any adjustments I've tweaked after watching back the episode before recording episode two. So um, in terms of match fitness, our back falls getting getting there. Maguire's getting there. Uh, Barkhausen was injured, so he's a bit behind. Bayless and Ledson are getting there. Johnson's yeah, getting there, and so Stockley. Um, in terms of the general squad, there's a couple that just don't really have much match fitness at the moment. Obviously, ones that are out. We've got Tom Clark out, Hughes out injured, Earl out on loan and injured, and Louis Malt injured, which is not the best, but we've got Nugent Ginelli um, fit, um, the rest out on loan. So, now we've got to get them somehow a bit more fit before the Tuesday game against Manchester United at Deepdale. So I'm hoping Manchester United put out a bit of a weaker team so we'd have a bit of a chance of some success against the big squad. But looking at their last game, um, their last, their most common team, De Gea, Shaw, Maguire, Lindelof, Delot, Pogba, McTominay, Rashford, Lingard, Mata and Martial is the, the team they played. Have they played any preseason friendly games yet though? No, we're there first. Okay, so we're three games ahead of them technically in terms of match fitness, but that doesn't really mean anything when you're against a team at like Manchester United. So they've got us. Then quite a bit of a gap before their next game against Fenerbahce, Sevilla and Seoul. And then poor Hang uh, must be doing a little tour of... South Korea by the looks of it. So yeah, um first up they gotta they gotta fight against us though. So I'm hoping that they don't play their big players. They're hoping they play, you know, a few other weak players. But I doubt they will. Because we're a decent team, championship level. They don't want to be humiliated in their first friendly against us. Um so let's just save in a minute, so uh if you haven't already, make sure you head over to the From the Finney Facebook page and Twitter page where you can find great articles on how Preston North End are doing in real life, not on Football Manager. Um, and also you can listen to the From the Finney podcast as well. We have it on Spotify, iTunes um, and YouTube as well. So if you're one of them, that one of the few that listens on YouTube, if you go to the playlist section, we have all of our From the Finney podcast episodes, as well as From the Finney Meets episodes. So, um, yeah, so if you're inter in interested in all that audio sort of stuff, audio book sort of stuff, then you'll uh, you'll love getting your North End fix through that. So, um, it's safe. We're now going to be getting ready to play Manchester United. I did put in for scouting... Um, where's he gone? Not shortlist. Scout priorities. Yeah, Sean McLaughlin. Um, so, he's saying he's of the level 
it'd be a useful signing. So I might go and actually try and get this guy. So he's 325 grand. Let's see what this is. Okay, whole feel is suitable. I'm going to finalize the offer. Potentially get him for 325 grand. Sean McLaughlin from Hull. Okay. We do need a new left back though, which is, I guess, the problem position at the moment. Um, role, we need some news, probably, I'd say a wing back sort. Max Lowe shows up. We uh, were apparently in for him in the summer. Nothing came of it. Um, what sort of price are we looking at here? Is there anybody, the, oh, the scout hasn't done anything. Thanks. Brilliant. Okay. So, we have 2.61 million to spend, but spent about 350 grand on that. But we need... We need someone. Let's have a look. Jake Falcons, no. Uh, 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 um. Gonna get the scout to have a look at this guy. Um. <laughs> I want someone who's gonna fit into our like vision of you know younger players that we can develop. I'm not expecting someone to come in and take the first team position because we have got Andrew Hughes which is perfectly you know perfectly good at doing that sort of thing. Um let's see about loans because we might be able to get someone in on loan from, you know, Premier League team. Could be uh could be of some use to us. Okay. Let's have a look. So it's the same sort of players again. Not really anybody new. Uh, I would have gone for someone potentially from United, but he's injured, so it's not going to be as much use to us. I'll keep the... Uh, oh, start negotiations. Okay, so yeah, he will be a fringe player. Finalise these promises. Let's negotiate the contract with him. Two-year deal, so we're not tied down too long to him. If it turns out to be no good. He's only 22. So it could, you know, could be of some use to us in like cup games. That's my plan. Maybe just have somebody who can keep the first team centre-halves fresh. Um, mm -mm -mm. Okay. They want to spend 108 grand on Adam O'Reilly. Reject all offers. Um, Good. Okay. Let's get things prepared for this first preseason friendly of this episode, Manchester United. Okay. So, we will actually attend that game because that could be quite useful to us. And the English Child Day football manager likes to sort of thing where um, players with no clubs or free agents all get pitted together in a game. And you get to go on along and watch it and see how the players do and potentially get some, you know, some new players in. So um, I'm going to click attend on that so we can have a watch and see if there's anybody who can uh, join our squad. So um, Johnson looks a bit tired, which is a bit disappointing. But I might keep him in if we've got Alan Brown on the bench to bring on. I'm gonna put Nugent on the bench and Ginelli because we need we need them. I'm gonna go with the same team. And then oh Ledson's bit. Let's put Pearson and Gallagher in actually. So Pearson. Paul Gallagher. They already have that bond in midfield, strong partnership. That's what we want. Um, let's get things going. 
So I'm training Sean Maguire to play better as a winger. So at the moment, he's saying he can't really play there. Um, but I think as every Preston fan knows, he's probably better there than he is up top. Especially when we play the one up front formation. So, let's go. Um, oh, go on, Johnson. Oh, I thought we might be in early on there, but... Let's hope things turn out quite well because it's good opposition, obviously. Go on, Fisher. Come on. Barkhausen. Somebody. Maguire. Johnson. Pearson. Barkhausen. Oh. Come on. Getting pinned back early on. The way from Homer at Deepdale. Come on, lads. We're doing all right so far. Oh, Martial. Oh, dear. Declan Rudd. What was that? Oh, dear. Just what? What's the point diving after the ball has gone past you? Seriously. Seriously. I need a new goalkeeper as well now, by the sounds of it. Declan Rudd is just... I have my opinions on him. I don't think he's good enough for what we need. And uh, football manager so far is backing me up. Um, yeah, but I won't keep banging on about it. Come on, come on, Maguire. We're doing all right in the attacking front, though. We're getting like a decent amount of the ball, which is more than I thought we would. We're just a bit maxiday's cut the back so far. We've got more goals. They've only had one chance. It's saying they're looking a bit frustrated, which is a complaint to our favour. Anxious. Why are they anxious? I want to encourage the team, you know? Fire him up a bit. Go on, Gallagher. Johnson. Fisher. Barkhausen. Somebody. No. Maguire. Come on. There. They're having a few more chances now. This is uh, They're growing into the game. Start pushing them back a bit. Just be a bit encouraging. Um, okay, let's dig in. Show them what you've got against Manchester United, I know. But let's. If we're going to go down, go down with a fight because it's a good team and it will be. A, give me a bit of hope that we can actually do something against like uh, teams at this level. Oh dear. Of all the players to score. For Manchester United. The one I, I just despise the most. Paul Pogba. Oh dear. They keep trying to hit us over the top. And it's not really. Helping us too well. Oh come on. Maguire. Back in somebody. Oh what was that? Johnson. Johnson, man, whoa. That was not what I needed. Um, Harrop, come on, lad. Show us what you can do against your old club, Manchester United. you got to be up for this. Barkhausen, probably take him off. Probably a bit tired. Okay. Davis. Let's put Rafferty on at left back. Even though I apparently can't play it either, but. Come on. No. Oh, no. Greenwood isn't even that good. Come on. Yes. Carry on. We just made them look better than they are. Oh, come on. Get all to the ball, lads. We, we did all right in like the first half. And then since then, we've just fallen apart. I don't know what's gone on. The team just doesn't seem to want to do much. Come on. Go on, boarding. Come on. Maguire. Get in the box and try and shoot. Oh, Harrop. Come on. We can get a goal against these. I'm hoping. 
Like before the game, I was assuming we'd get beat, but I got I grew a bit more hopeful after the first half performance. On Pearson. We're just getting too many chances now, and it's it's an, slightly frustrating. Harrop, come on. Ball in. Oh, dear. <sighs> so, no other. Well, it's the first loss in this uh, series. To be fair, I'm not that bothered about this loss than I would be against a league loss, to be fair. Um, oh, dear. This is slightly annoying now. But to be fair, their, their team has so much more match fitness and energy than mine do. And I don't get how. I know I played a game against Bamba Bridge, but surely my players shouldn't have got that tired off that sort of game. They just look to have so much more energy than we do. Go on, Fisher. Oh, it's hit the bar. That's just unfair. That's just... <laughs> Oh, uh, no. Come on. Maguire, what are you doing? Get it clear. Oh, dear. <laughs> what matter? Why did you have to do this to me? <laughs> oh, dear. This. Oh. Well, that was a fun game. Hmm. That was not fun to watch at all. That was painful. The thing is, we were promising in the first half. Like, really promising. We kind of kept hold of the ball. And they had, like, one goal through. Thanks to Declan Rudd's world-class goalkeeping. Oh, dear. Things need to change. I think... The problem is my team are getting no time to, to relax. It's been Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. Oh dear. Yeah, I care. We've got to prepare for the Fleetwood game now. Um, we've got the trialist game before that where we can potentially get some new players in to the squad. But we just got to see how it goes. It's not the best. Just as we come against a team with any ounce of quality in it, we were torn a new one. To be fair, I'm hoping that there's a bit more, something a bit more promising from the game against Fleetwood. That Ashley Hunt is a good player, and they recommend him as a good signing. Just saw how much is he? Four hundred and twenty-five grand. Should I try and bring him in? He's like a decent player. He's we were rumoured with him a couple of seasons ago. 1.8 million. No, it's not worth that. 500 grand plus someone. Who can I get rid of? Add. Um, add players to exchange. Let's have a look. I play a loan list of players. Other players from squad. Who can I get rid of? Um... That's no good. Do you want Michael Crow? I doubt you do, but do you want Michael Crow? Suggest terms. <laughs> 1.8 million, okay. Um, other players. You want Hudson? You can have Hudson. <laughs> Nope, not that. Okay. That's not working. No Ashley Hunter yet. I may have to play it a bit more careful and try and uh, declare interest in him publicly. Maybe try and settle him. Maybe try and get him so he wants to be transfer listed. Might reduce his uh, asking price a bit. 1.8 million. 
or 1.7 million with two players in exchange is not suitable at all for what I'm looking for. But we've got our first sign in, McLaughlin. What the uh, fans will think of it, I do not know. But we've got our first achievement as well. It's popped up in the bottom right. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's saying that we've uh, signed our first player. That's good news. Let's see. What? No, that's not the news I wanted. There we are. 22-year-old Irish centre-half. Sean McLaughlin from Hull for 325 grand. Been on loan at St. Mirren. It doesn't look too bad. To be honest, in terms of the stats, and he's he's a fringe player. He's only twenty two. It could be quite useful to us, especially for cup games. So, uh, he's to replace Paul Huntington, obviously. But there he is, McLaughlin. He can play left back as well, which is, well, he can kind of play left back. It's not really helping us too much in the left back department, though. Right. <clears throat> We do need an actual left back though. Like we do, because it's not it's not looking too good at the moment. Maybe not a wing back. Maybe just a normal full back if you want to switch over. There we go. Um Thomas O'Connor, Gillingham. Scout, please. He's twenty years old, he could be of some use to us. Um I'm looking for someone who's going to take over the first team spot. Just someone who can potentially hold it down for a little bit. Because we've got... We just want someone who's going to try and potentially push Andrew Hughes when he's back fit. Because we do have Earl out on loan who's, you know, like the young prospect. I don't really want to... Uh... Well, I'm going to try and potentially retrain him because having a six foot five or whatever height he is left back just does not suit him at all okay <laughs> all these are now getting down to the position where we, the the values aren't too great um, mm, 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 mm. some of these lads are so it's coming up with quite a few from the German third division don't know how useful any of these will be like but there's potential maybe Um, I don't know any of these players. I don't know what I'm particularly looking for. But I see someone of some use. Jonas Carls. I've heard of him before. Scout him. See how decent he turns out to be. He's in the Schalke's second team. We've got two players scouting there. We'll leave it at that for now. Let's get the Fleetwood game rolling. McLaughlin set to be unveiled. That's good. Selection advice. Um, that's probably a good shout when we play back in. Um, match fitness brown. Okay. I'm going to use the suggested squad. Um, attend press conference. Delighted to be able to welcome Sean to the club. Um, I'm far too busy with my own job. I don't care about that. Um, I hope he can make a big contribution. I think he'll lift for everybody in the club. Um, I certainly hope so. Um, certainly brought a few new faces in. Yep, we want a few signings. Don't want to leave it with the uh, same sort of squad that we've got here. Um, obviously, I don't want to dislodge the team too much because I know how having you know good cohesion and team works trying to swap the whole squad around is probably just going to damage us more than it is strengthen us okay cool i'm not doing this club structure i'm not talking to him okay let's respond what's going on here hand over to coach oh i've got the trials game today i'm attending the trials game let's have a look Let's see what sort of players we've got. Uh, I don't know any of these, so I'm just going to sit back and watch in a, uh, from a kind of outside perspective and see who does well. Keep an eye on some, you know, some of the goal scorers. 
potentially good defending and all that sort of stuff. They are quite useful, these sort of games. Football Manager does kind of put them on every so often to try and give you uh, a bit of a guide and some younger free agents who might be out there. Kind of A lot of time you get distracted by money signings that, that you don't know how good some of the uh, free agents are out there. Um, I do like looking at free agents, so I do go and attend these games on Football Manager to have a have a bit of a look at what's going on. Um, yeah, but as I said, I hope you're enjoying the uh, series so far. Um, it is quite different for what from, from what from the thing he's done and uh, so far. Um, it is quite interesting, but um, yeah, not really much to split the sides at the moment. To be fair, it seems a bit end to end. I can't imagine there being too much cohesion in these teams, considering the a uh, team full of trialists. You know, there's only so well they can play. Okay. Oh, some decent play from the uh, white team. Oh, it's a good attacking play actually. That's some good counter attacking play. I like that. I need to get, to get a, a secondary sort of set of tactics um, trained up for Preston because at the moment all we've got is the, the like control possession tactic which works but sometimes you need to grind results out and we need one that can do that so potentially one that involves Stockley a bit more. Um, that was some good play though. Um, Trials Team 1 have uh, taken the lead. Um, Kias Metz with the first goal. I'm not getting too excited by this, um, purely because I, none of these are my players yet. I don't know, it might be at some point. The white team seem to be the better out of two so far. Seem to be good at keeping hold of the ball in the uh, final third. So I'm going to have to see about some of those players in those attacking positions and see what sort of level they're at, see if they're worth trying to bring in some. Because if they're a free agent, they're going to be uh, quite a bit of use to us. Oh, they scored. They seem to be quite good on the counter-attack, I've noticed the red team. They seem to hit that long ball first time. Um, which is a very useful thing to have. A good player. That was actually a really nice transition. Oh, good ball. Oh, now that was some like really good team play. Considering it's a team full of trialists as well. So it's half time. Um, quite interesting actually, seeing like the kind of setup that these teams have. Uh, team in red seem to like to hit on the counter attack quite a bit don't seem to be focusing much on possession but then uh, the team in white seems to be pretty good keeping hold of the ball and transitioning on the attack oh come on uh, okay To be fair, we've got a bit more of an important game after this. We've got the Fleetwood friendly. Um, not as hard as Manchester United would be, so I'm hoping for a bit of a better result from that one. Um, we need to get things back on track because it's not been the best of pre-season so far. And we need to get some like cohesion going. I need to find out my best players for the squad. Obviously, I have favourites in the Preston squad, which I'm trying to be a bit more impartial. You know, as as f on the football manager, you can't always be... You can't always use your favourites because it doesn't work. Players aren't as good as they are potentially in real life. So We'll see how it goes. Though. I like to build quite a useful squad, so Preston's a good set. Oh, there we go. Trials Team 2 have taken the lead. Good place, actually. 
brilliant strike. Goalkeeping a bit questionable, like, but, you know. Red team are really going for it now. Second half, they've really stepped up the game. They've really kind of turned into a bit more possession. Yeah, more in direct sense, but it seems to be working. Oh, unlucky. Some decent play, though, actually. They seem to like to hit a long ball. It's not worked all the time, but it seems to be the, the way they seem to be playing. It's, uh, like, again, they've hit it from, like, the deep central defensive midfield role through to the striker trying to get it through in behind it has turned out to be quite you know it seems to have worked so it might be an interesting tactic to, to look at if it can bring in some players who fit that sort of way of playing it seems to be uh, this is working quite well considering I've noticed the team who keep going on the counter attack don't only have wingers They've got two defensive midfielders, two central midfielders, and two strikers. So how that setup is working, I don't know. But it's working, they're winning. And they seem to be quite... Getting the ball around quite a bit. But the white team are starting to uh, do bits, by the looks of it. Oh, here we go again. Oh, it's just over. Good play. Armstrong's tried hitting the long ball over a couple of times. To the point where he's probably doing a bit too much now. Oh. White team on the counter attack. Oh, going for goal. This game's nearly over. <clears throat> Let me send my scout out though to have a look at some of these lads after the game. It would be nice to have a bit of a different option up front as well because all we've got really is Stockley and Nugent. I'm not too keen on putting Sean Maguire up front due to his height and presence and he doesn't really suit it too well. You know, playing the lone role up front. If he's going to play up top, he's going to play in long, like two up front. But I think he's better coming in off that left-hand side as part of a three behind the uh, striker. Fulham really, really want Adam Riley, O'Reilly, don't they? That is uh, quite an interesting one. But, yeah, we've got a bit of time between Fleetwood and Chorley game. Um, so we'll focus on getting ready for this one. I've got to pay a bit more attention on to the condition of the players because it seems to be that they're not in the best conditions for our players okay the, the attacking line seems all right i'm gonna try and potentially put rafferty in he's got a bit more energy um i'm gonna put mclaughlin in our new sign in you know give him a bit of bit of time in the team davis at the left back hughes how long's hughes got six to three months six weeks to three months Great. <laughs> okay. I want Stockley on the bench. Stockley. There we go. Let's go. Let's try and beat Fleetwood. Hopefully, uh, do something against them. Hunter's gone out to the left hand side now. I actually am going to declare interest for transfer publicly. You know, try and desettle him a bit. Come on. Come on, lads. We're playing a bit of a different team, but it might work. We've got Green out on the left, which is he's not really seen much time, playing time as in the Preston shirt in real life, to be honest. Uh, I don't think he's up to level... We need. Um, yet yeah, Aston Villa fans seem to think he's better than any of our wingers. Which 
They obviously haven't clearly seen uh, Tom Barkhausen. Come on. Come on, Green. Do a bit of defending, lad. Oh, dear. They're in behind. Oh, Ripley. I, I'm a bit... I don't know who to pick between Rudd and Ripley. Rudd had a terrible game in the last game. Ripley's nothing special. So it's a bit confusing who I think should be number one. They're both at the same level on Football Manager, so... I don't know. I think I need a new keeper altogether, but we'll see. Go on, Ginley. O'Reilly. Harrop. Brown. Oh. Oh, what? What happened there? I didn't get to see any of that. Okay, Harrop. Swung it in. Oh, McLaughlin could have had an assist there. That's annoying. Come on, David Nugent. Oh, Ginley. Why are they shooting from there? It's not going to work. Come on, Ripley upfield. Nugent, Harrop, Green, O'Reilly. Oh, O'Reilly. Push him back. Oh, they've hit us on the car. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. That was not good. That was not good at all. Um. Wow. There's hit hitters on the counter. We need to really sort that. What is going on? With our defence. Out of possession. Defensive line is way too high. Defensive line needs to be dragged back. Because the hitting is over the top way too much. They're getting in behind. They've got more pace than our centre halves have. And it's not working. We need more spirit and fight out there, lads. Come on. I don't want this to turn into a really boring season. What is that? Really? Oh dear, no. 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 No, no, this is not good. No, oh good, get it clear. Why can't we get the ball clear? Get the ball upfield, we need to be... I'm not working the ball into the box. Hit early crosses in, in transition. Let's go on the counter, dispute it quickly. Like, seem to want to just tap it around the defence the whole time, and it's not working. Oh, they hit us again. Oh, decent saves this time. Fleet would look more prepared for the championship than we do right now. Like, if some of these players aren't good enough. Oh, Nugent. If some of these players aren't good enough for. Uh, to beat Fleetwood, then they're not going to be good enough for, for championship football. And I was told to keep them, you know, playing. But really, these guys aren't really holding it up at all at the moment. Just go direct. Um, Stockley. Come on, somebody. <laughs> the, uh... oh, dear. Hunters just stormed down that wing. This is not good. This is not looking good, guys, at all. We're in a bit of a predicament at the moment, I think, aren't we? We've got like a really good team and then not much past that. Wow. 
Wow. Okay. That was just awful. I'm hoping this like unsettles Hunter because he could be a good signing for us. Could be quite useful to have um, signed for the team. Um, yeah, this is a. Uh, I need to have a word with the team. I need to adjust the tactics because it's just not working the defensive line is too high um you need to be more tight with the marking transition we need to be getting the ball out not just distributing it to the target man trying to get in behind it's play the ball through the middle it's be a bit more expressive i wouldn't say play for set pieces because that's just awful way of doing it um, but we need to be much, much higher with the tempo. We need to be going off on a positive mindset straight away. Because at the moment it's really, <coughs> really not doing it for us. And I hope, <laughs> the thing is, it's annoying. I'm going to put these tactics in and it's going to look like they've worked. Because we're against Charlie. We're going to beat Charlie. And it's going to look like we've worked. The, the, but... It, <laughs> It's not going to have worked, is it? It's just going to have worked against Charlie because they're not up to the level we're up to. But I, looking at it, I don't think we're at the level we need to be yet. And we're running out of games in pre-season. Fitness doesn't seem to be getting there. It's not going good, guys. It's not going good. I'm going on a bit of a rant here, but it's uh, episode two. We're into episode two and it's not really uh, clicking so far in terms of the team. Um... Our work has taken over from Alex Neal. Um, really isn't. It's not as easy as it first looks. I can assure you that. I think a lot of uh, fans assume that. Oh, I, I could do his job. Which some of you may be able to. But no, I don't think any of you would really. It's uh, it's, it's a lot. There's a lot more to it than it first seems. And if you're somebody like me who likes playing football manager. You'll realise when you get to like a good level where your team isn't top of your game. Then you're not going to do too well. You've got to have the tactics working. Okay, apparently O'Connor's had a masterclass on loan. Leighton Orient can have Hudson on loan if they want him. They're playing, what's that, non-league level? Or are Leighton Orient back at League 2 now? Oh, well, they're in League 2. And they want it as a first-choice goalkeeper. And Harrop's injured. Brilliant. Great. It's going well. Not not annoyed. Let's try and get a new goalkeeper, though. No goalkeeper is interested for transfer or loan to our club. Nobody wants to get rid of their keeper. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay. What's going on? What's happening? Oh, roll full back as a keeper. That's probably why. You can't have a goalkeeper who knows how to play fullback. Any. Okay. I think we need to keep it suited more to the sweeper keeper sort of role. Um to be honest. Let's have a look. So as this guy is apparently seems pretty good. Italian keeper um, let's 
I love you, white man. I miss Torsten Stuttman thinking about it. Big German keeper. Let's scout this guy. Used to play for Brussy Dortmund, actually. That Holsten Kiel Dominic Ryman. Um, if he turns out to be any good in terms of scouting, it might be a decent signing for us. Um. <laughs> Looking to potentially bring in a foreign keeper, so you know, a bit more to them to their game than what we have currently with um, Rudd and Ripley. Let's go back up to Tar. I'm willing to spend a fair bit on like a decent keeper because what we have currently is not not good enough. Scouting three keepers. Hopefully get one of them. <clears> okay. <throat> yeah. Finishing scouting on this guy. So what sort of level does he think he's at? Um, level 64. That's not too bad, to be honest. That's sort of the uh, level I was hoping for. To be honest, he's, on, he's at um, Armenia B B Bielefeld. I'm going to try and get him. His value is 215 grand. 225, okay. I can do that. Yeah. Let's try and get him. Get a, a German left back. Trying to branch out from, you know, the very much British and Irish sort of setup we have going on here. So, he wants to be a fringe player. Um, we should be a squad player season after. Fair enough. Um, Finalise those promises. Let's get a contract negotiated with them. Three years. I'm going to say that that's set. Um, sign on for your appearance fee. 2.7 grand. Clean sheet bonus. Suggest these terms. Okay, finalise deal. Awesome. So I finalised the deal with the new fullback. Good news. Essentially give him some game time against Charlie because we do need a uh, we need to get some minutes in his legs, to be honest, because we're coming up to the beginning of the season soon. So we should be able to fit in the uh game against Charlie just before the end of episode two, and then uh we're looking good. Uh, as I said, I hope you enjoyed the series. Um, if you do know a press, other Preston fans who might be interested in watching this, uh, pass it along. If you just like Football Manager in general and you're from another club, uh, do comment down below. It's good to get a bit of interaction from other fans. I know people might just be a fan of the game and like watching people play the game in general, doesn't matter what team. But um, yeah, we have a lot of interesting opinions. Um, from other clubs about Preston North End. A lot of us call us dirty. All that sort of stuff. But I think we genuinely, genuinely do have like a decent squad. Um, They're like a good basis for a squad. And we've got some like players who are, uh, are doing really well for us. It's quite interesting to hear some of the opinions. Especially with the whole teams like Preston sort of thing. I have a feeling a lot of clubs assume they should just be beating us for some reason. Uh, I'm hoping in a way to kind of prove them wrong that even such a quality game, such a football manager, can uh, prove uh, prove how good we are um, as a team. But so far it's not doing us any justice, so uh, Sports Interactive, you need to get your stuff together because it's not looking too good for pressing on here at the moment. But we have uh, sorted out another sign, in second sign in the transfer window. Um, mainly just trying to improve the, the uh, squad quality. Because I think at the moment our team is decent enough in terms of the first team. But then as soon as you get outside of the uh, first team squad, you're looking a bit uh, not that you know not that good of a quality of player. So we need to uh, register some of our players. I don't really want to register Crow because I don't think he should be in the team. So... 
register some of these. Of course I want to register these guys. Ganelli's not registered, neither is green. I'll register Raman if I can. Could have a maximum squad size of 99 players. Okay. That's a lot. Gonna register Malt just in case he has a miraculous recovery from injury. I'll register Crowslaw because we can. Okay. Awesome. So, let's get to the actual. Let's get some. Let's get some more games going. Let's get friendly going before the end of this episode. I'm having about now talking about all sorts of other stuff. So Thomas O'Connor as a fullback. What sort of level is saying is that um, he has potential. I might just sign him for the potential then. Um, mm, 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 mm. Fuck. Maybe not. Uh, we're not getting O'Connor, guys, unfortunately. 46 million is not what I'm happy for spending. Giannis Carls is not at the level that they want. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Charlie. I want to give the uh, new left back a bit of time. McLaughlin gets some more minutes in his legs as well. Um, Anderson Lukoki? I have no idea how to pronounce that. Uh, his left best position is left back. Yep, that's why we needed him. Test him for big things. Do, 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 do. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Okay. On to the Charlie game. Let's get the ball rolling again. Squad numbers for the season. It keeps distracting me with more and more stuff. Maxwell's alone, so there's no use. McLaughlin is going to be number 22, I think. Uh, he can be number 3. He comes through Nils out alone. O'Connor's not getting a number. Graham Burke's not getting a number. Don't know why this guy's kind of been put into our first team, but I'm going to give him the number 34. There we go. Right, come on. Can we actually get to the game now? There we go. Fitness test. Yep, come on. Here we are. Let's go. Let's let's get these new guys in and get the ball rolling. And hopefully end up with a better result than the game against Fleetwood. So. Anderson Lecoque, left back. I'm sorry if I'm butchering his name. If anybody knows how to pronounce his name, please do comment down below because I have no idea. So, Bauer can stay in. McLaughlin, that guy. Um, Bayless. I kind of give Bayless some more game time because I feel like it, Preston aren't giving him enough game time in the first team. So far, best combination has been Bayless and Ledson. Which is quite an interesting one. It may be our first, our starting 11 midfield pairing. We don't know. Daniel Johnson. I'm going to put Maguire in. He's sort of getting better though. He's turned to a uh, yellow now. He was on orange earlier. And Stockley is our target man. So, quick pick the unpicked positions. Okay, yeah, because we've not got no keep on the bench. Here we are. We're away from home against Chorley in our sixth preseason game. Let's uh, hope we get a better result than last time. We had a good game when we played Bamba Bridge. Uh, we got like a 7 0 win, so I'm hoping we can you know, maintain that sort of level. Not maintain it, but get back to that sort of level. Okay, I'm on the attack already, it's good news. Oh, yes, there we go. 1 0. The new guy has already made an impact with a great ball in, to be fair. Took the throw into Johnson. Play it back to Lacroquery, whatever his name is. Play it in Barcalzen with the header off the bar. Barcalzen just nods it past the keeper the second time. Oh, it's not registered as an assist for him, but. 
It's a great ball in. Johnson with a free kick. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, it's offside. I thought Bart Carlson would have had his second then. Good start from Preston. That's what we needed. That's Lewis Baines. I thought for some reason he had some Leighton Baines then, but... Fisher. Oh, there we go. Maguire with the second. Stockley with a little flick on. That's some beautiful play. Nice little slow motion replay for you. Johnson to Fisher. Fisher swings it in. Stockley flicks it on. Maguire's there at the back post. Maguire is not missing. Oh, unlucky. I've gone Stockley. Oh, he's put, oh dear. He's put it wide. Jaden, what are you doing? Oh dear. 2 0. Come on. Bayless, Ledson. This guy. Ledson, come on. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Then, yes! 3 0. Charles Maguire. Beautiful play. Beautiful. I'm saying this like this is like against any decent opposition. It's no offence to Charlie at all, but realistically, Preston should be beating Charlie. And we are, but it's just, you know, we're not doing too too good against any better opposition at the moment. Oh, come on. Good, good pressing. Maguire. This one again. Oh, Barkhausen. Oh. Good play. We're doing well, lads. We're doing well. Free kick forward. Oh, Stockley, go on. Oh, let's put it wide. Jaden, your one-on-one -on -one finishing is awful. There's a reason you're a target man and not a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, not a uh, poacher. Well, they've changed a few players around. I'm hoping our lads should be up to like, the level where they can keep going at a decent fitness. Barkhausen's getting minutes in his legs now, which is which is good. After he's after having a little niggle at the beginning of preseason. <clears throat> Go on, good ball in. Oh, just wide. Doing all right so far. Not too many chances, though, which is a bit frustrating. Let's try and uh, push forward a bit more again. Oh. Now they bought the new guys, they've probably got a bit more lease of life in terms of energy. I don't think Charlie are at national level now. They're not at the. the they've gone up. The, the, one league, the one promotion off, League 2, which is quite incredible, really. I've gone by Carlson. Oh, what a goal! Tom Bar Carlson, what a finish! I don't care who that's against, you're not stopping that. That was just beautiful. First time on the volley. Keeper has literally no chance. What a goal! Tom Bar Carlson. That's absolutely brilliant. 82 minutes, come on. Settling down now towards the end of the game and towards the end of the episode as well. It's coming up on the hour mark. Episode two. Come on, one more goal before the end. Send us home happy. Fisher, not the best ball, but oh well. Oh, here we go. Could they get a goal? Let's put it wide. That's fine. Come on, Ripley. Get the ball forward. They're just putting it along to Stockley now. To be fair, we are at the end of the game. But our new fullback and centre half seems to have had quite a decent game. I know you've got to kind of take it slowly because you're up against Charlie. But um, I think they, they played well. They looked like they're at a similar sort of level to the rest of the team. The passing was good. Um, good pace, got into good positions, especially the fullback kind of supported Maguire down that left hand side quite a lot, so that was good to see. But again, we've got Bournemouth, 
in the next episode. So I hope you have uh, enjoyed today's game. Um, to be fair, we able to fit in four games in an hour in this episode. Mainly because there wasn't as much faffing about. But we did have Manchester United. Um, an absolute tonking on our part. 5-0 loss. It was not great. Then we had the trialist game which we watched. Where we uh, scouted a couple of players. Um, I need to go back to that game and have a look at some of the performances from the, uh, the guys there. Um, Fleetwood. We uh, lost 1-0. Again, terrible, terrible sort of performance from pressing that one Charlie got back to some good good performances again not really what we're hoping for we're hoping for a bit more we're hoping for a bit more against the likes of Bournemouth and Falkirk I can imagine us losing to Bournemouth and beating Falkirk and then we're just going to end up up against it Millwall we'll see how we do but looking at it, the, yeah, the actual, it's got, I think we've actually got the exact same fixture list. So uh, we've got the same fixture list as the actual league. So I might do some bits off camera in terms of scouting players, trying to get some signings in. So you're not sitting here watching me all the time, just flick through and flick through. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed episode two. Um, do leave your comments down below in terms of how to improve this because this is the end of this recording session so any advice would be great um yeah so this has been episode two of from the finney plays football manager 2020 um i hope you have enjoyed it um i hope you're enjoying the series so far as i said leave any comments down below if you're a fan of Preston north end or any other club feel free to keep an eye on the series like it, subscribe, join the From the Finney family. Um, check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Links to that will be down in the description below. Uh, I've been Rob. This has been episode two. As I've said about five times now, I need to stop talking. End this episode. Uh, bye bye.